Hello, my name is Andrew Kopelman. I'm an academic advisor with the University of Minnesota Twin Cities PSEO office. And I'm going to go through a quick whirlwind tour of the specifics of the U of M's PSEO program, what to expect, how it might be different from other programs you're hearing about, uh, and so on. So just to start with, um, as a PSEO student, you can choose to be part-time or full-time. You don't have to choose, though, by the time you apply to the program initially. Um, you can just apply as a, as a new PSEO student, and then once you're admitted, then you can decide whether you go part-time or full-time. You'll be allowed to take intro-level courses. Uh, the, in our system, they'll be listed as one in 2,000 level courses. Uh, and schedulebuilder.umn.edu is the best place to find out what courses are available, what the schedules are for those classes, when their lectures and labs meet, and all that sort of business. Um, and you'll have an advisor to help you through this, because it can be a bit overwhelming. Um, your PSEO advisor will help work through what your goals are longer term, shorter term. Uh, we'll try to help you find courses that will uh, kill a few birds at once. Um, so we want to find classes that will help you knock out your high school requirements that are remaining and also help you get some progress on your college requirements. If you know exactly what you want to do as far as majors go, if you know, if you don't really know, but you want to start exploring, or even if you just want to knock out a few general courses, we can help you find the right fit. Now, the application for our program goes live on our website on February 1st. The deadline to submit your application is May 15th. as a postmark deadline, so as long as everything is in the mail, at least by May 15th, even if we get it a little bit later, that's still okay. Late applications beyond that are going to be tougher to accept. Um, so we strongly recommend submitting everything on time as much as possible. Um, and you'll find out if you're admitted by June 26th. Uh, we'll send out all decisions at once. Um, so you should know um, if you get your application in, whether you're admitted by that date. Uh, you'll have an orientation uh, starting, a self-orientation that starts in uh, July. And you'll have a month and a half or so to go through that. Um, to introduce you to the university systems and PSEO in general. Um, and then you'll have a, an online orientation session where you'll connect with your advisors more directly in early August or late July. The materials you need to submit are an online application form. This kicks your application off. Um, you'll need to submit a PSEO notice of student registration, which you fill out in conjunction with your high school counselor. And if you're under 18, you'll need a parent or guardian to sign off on it as well. You'll need to submit an, a high school transcript. Uh, this doesn't have to be official. It could just be a, an unofficial printout. That's totally fine. And if you took taken prior PSEO outside of the U of M, we'll need those transcripts as well. Again, it doesn't have to be official. Unofficial is fine. Now, if you've taken a standardized test, like a PSAT, SAT plan, or um, ACT Aspire, you're welcome to submit those scores if you feel they'll help. But if you, feel, if you feel happy with them, feel that they represent you well, but you don't have to submit these. Many students, most students do not submit this kind of standardized test score. The only exception is if you are a homeschool student, then you do need to submit a specific kind of um, standardized test score. And you can see our, our website for the specific, uh, the specific test that we accept. You also can choose to submit a balance sheet, but you don't have to. A balance sheet is something from your high school showing what graduation requirements are left. We strongly recommend that you submit this. It doesn't have any uh, impact on your application itself, but it's something that if you're admitted, your advisor will use to help you figure out what the best classes are. So if, you, if we see on your balance sheet that you still need US history and American literature, we can recommend classes for that. The last thing is there's an additional statement that you're welcome to submit. We're not asking for a lot of information here. And so an additional statement can be useful if you feel there's parts of your academic record that we're not going to understand just by looking at your transcript and these other materials. So for instance, if you had a dip in your GPA one semester and you want to explain to us the extenuating circumstances or what happened around that so we have a full picture, feel free to, to tell us that. But we aren't taking uh, recommendation letters um, we're not looking at extracurricular activities. So, so this will be a much more narrow application than, than say if you applied to the U of M for college to, for, for undergraduate. 
Now, this, the core review criteria we're looking at, 3.60 is the minimum unweighted GPA, but most students will have higher than that. Um, and this is, again, this is an unweighted GPA that we're looking at. We'll also be looking at the rigor of your coursework um, at have you done as well as possible basically in the most challenging courses that your high school offers. And we do take into account that not every high school is the same. Some high schools offer a lot of AP courses and honors courses. Some high, school offer, high schools offer none. And so we do take all that into, into account in the context of your high school. And if you've taken prior PSEO, that, way, that work, those grades will weigh very heavily. And so that's really it for this uh, whirlwind tour of PSEO at the University of Minnesota. Um, your next step, if you have any questions, can be to email us at pseoumn.edu or check z.umn.edu slash PSEO apply for all the more detailed instructions and forms to download on how to go through the application from here on out. Thanks for watching.